Hello, my name is Jasmine. I'm from France and I'm in Korea since two years. And uh, now I'm learning Korean in order to find a job in Korea. Part 42, let's talk about manners. Question one, what are some examples of bad man manners on the bus? Uh, for me, bad, exam uh, bad manners on the bus is when someone is sitting on the pregnant woman seat or old people seat or when someone is speaking really really super loud on the phone I hate that <laughs> because it's a public place you should respect others so just don't speak loud <laughs> cool is, yeah is there a seat for a pregnant person in France yes but not for yeah yeah yeah, yeah. there is for all people too and nobody sit on there everybody sit on it <laughs> <laughs> and they will like give the seat when a pregnant woman can go in, but mm -hmm. usually everybody sit on it. Not like in Korea. In Korea, even though there is a lot of people, no one will sit. Mm -hmm. In France, they will too. Even though it's totally empty, nobody sit it. Yeah. yeah. If somebody sits, so people start to play. Yeah, yeah exactly. E exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, in France, they will do, but when a pregnant woman will come, they will just give her the seat. Question number two, what are some examples of good manners on the bus? Good manners on the bus is when you let an old woman, an old person or a pregnant woman sit on, on any seat, actually. When you give your seat to this person, even though it's not a dedicated seat to them, but you just give them the seat. This can be a good manner on subway or bus. Question number three, what are some examples of bad manner that you hate? Maybe when you are entering a restaurant, a mall or anything and the person in front of you just don't hold the door for you. Like, and I, what I mean, like not holding the door and let you in, but just not keeping the door open until you take the door, you know. But usually people will just like go and like close the door while you are entering. So sometimes it's hurting actually. <laughs> I really hate that. Question number four, do you think people are, are more polite or less polite now than in the past? I think they are less polite now than in the past. In the past, people were really respecting others, respecting uh, the um, older generation. Nowadays, with all this internet stuff, with social media, with also the right, I mean, yeah, it's my right to not respect you, I mean, all these kind of things, people becoming more and more, I mean, less and less impolite, in my opinion. <laughs> Question number five, do you know someone who is often rude? No, I don't. If the person is really rude, I'm not going to be friends with this person anymore. So no, I don't. I never met someone who is always rude. Question number six. Can you think of uh, some example uh, of how manners have changed in your country? How are manners different in other countries? For example, in Korea, when usually people eat, they do this noise. It's, it's totally normal to do the noise, means that they're enjoying the food. In France, when people will do this kind of noise, people will be like, ah, oh, he's really impolite. It's, it's, really, it's really impolite to do noise when people are eating. Um, also, uh, the, the door holding, as I, as I was saying, uh, in France they hold it a lot, in, in, in Korea they don't. They think that no, it's like just open it. So, yeah, you 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 become used to this manner. I don't think it's bad or good manner. It's just country manner. That that's all. Question number seven: How important is it to be polite to older people, to older people, even though they are often rude? Uh, this question is hard because I really want to say that we should always respect <laughs> other people because they are older and yeah we just need to respect it our parents teach us to, res to respect older people but it's true that sometimes <laughs> older people are not going to respect us or really be super super rude i think we just need to respect it and like i'm like it's okay jasmine the person is just super old 
maybe he's or she's tired so just let it go and respect it <laughs> your mother educates you to respect it so just let it be <laughs> question number eight uh, what is something that isn't considered true but should be? Question number nine. Uh, when someone is rude in a public place, do you say something but, or try to ignore the person? Depends on what kind of situation, but I think I will say it to the person. If it really bothers me, I will say it to the person. If the person next to me on the bus will speak super, super loud, I will say it. If I'm in France, no, not in Korea. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but yeah, I will definitely say it. Um, yeah, because it's a public place, you should respect other others, actually. It's not your own place. So respecting others is really important. Question number 10, what, uh, what will you do if you find out your wife or husband is a spy from North Korea, <laughs> uh, you could receive 0 0.5 million dollars from the government. You want to report it because it's politics stuff and it's security stuff, but on the other hand, if you really marry this person, it means that you like this person, you love this person, you share a lot of things with it, but it also means that the person lied to you. Yeah, she was lying. I, I don't know. It's really hard because actually there is so many sides that we should see, you know, there is so many... Uh, it's, it's hard, it's hard. There is part of me who will say, yeah, of course I'm going to, 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 to say to the government. There is other part, no, but you cannot, like, <laughs> it's really hard to decide. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine and I've been coming to Colcom since three months now and I really, really like the place because I met a lot of new people. I came here to improve my Korean, but actually I'm improving a lot. I'm um, even uh, like meeting people who wanna who wanna learn French. <laughs> so we're just exchanging like English, French, and Korean. So it's really it's really nice, and I like it because I can come here the whole day, study, and by like in the evening can meet other people. So I really recommend everybody to come here if they want to meet people, if they want to improve their English or any other language, you can guys come here. And there is also a cat, <laughs> Coco, <laughs> he's really nice and so funny. So you should come guys. <laughs>